Hello and welcome to a brand spanking new series. So with the end of the Fallout mod we did, I wanted to take a look at another mod. So this one has been in my list for quite some time and has been recently being updated. So why the hell don't we show it a look? Or give it a look. So this is Imperium Universalis. This is basically U4 in the time of Rome. I haven't played this yet. I've been putting this off for a very long time and well, I think it's a great time that we started doing it. So, one limitation, of course, of the EU4 engine is that it tries to simulate the entire world. We don't have the entire world in this, uh, because we did not know the entire world at that time yet. So it centers around, um, well, this area, actually. Um, there barely is any human life up here, so there was probably some humans, you know. Some really stubborn bastards. But... Dynasties and that kind of stuff would not really call it that. Well, that's a bit weird of texturing. Heh, <laughs> whatever. Um, so, yeah. This is what I'm going to look at. And uh, you might have, you know, kind of been uh, wondering what are we going to play? Well, 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 I can tell you that. I just want to take a look through the start dates. So, I got the first Punic War after the Battle of Ipsus, which I. Don't know much about. I haven't got the Rise of Rome. So I think we should start with the Rise of Rome. And we're going to play actually as Rome itself. We're going to try to do as much as world conquest as we can. You know, and see how far we can get. There's some interesting stuff going on here. Wait, why is these not... Ooh. Oh, that just makes certain bits interesting. Um, I can tell you right now that this is... Not entirely correct. The Frisia are from this bit here. Anyway. Um, so this is our religion, Dai Consentis. Limpioi. Well, we go over uh, Rome, so yeah, let's just select Rome and uh, go. You might think, oh, well, that's a boring option to go over Rome. Well, this is the first time me playing this bot. Rome's conquest sounds very interesting. Sorry about that. Not really, you know, really sorry about that, to be honest. Okay, Lee Dokley. You can convert provinces to die constantly. So we've got provinces that are Illyrian and Olympi. So, uh, what does our religion do for us? Tolerance of the surface and tolerance of heretics. So fairly open minded. Alright. Yeah, we're not gonna risk anything there. We've got a missionary strength of that. We've got conversion. There's a nice little bit of a flag there. Alright, so set up some rivals. They'll probably just set our neighbors up. Um, we've got these guys up here. There's uh, Eritrea, which hates us anyway. We've got the Simamum here. Well, put you in there as well. And Sabini. Well, we'll pick you up as well. That makes sense. That There's no debate in the Senate. So we need to start a debate. Otherwise, this gives us what? That's your unrest of one. Mm, it's a bit hard to read. I don't know how bad this is in recording. Um... Let's see. More food. Republican tradition. Seems about something nice because it's not too high. Um, Lex Militaris. Is this less military? No, it's more military. You know what? Okay, to go for that one. Kearney's considering the issue. Oh, this is really backing it. Strengthen the oligarchs by three. Okay. That probably has to do with the estates. Patricians and plebeians. Alright, so. No mission selected. A Latin colony in Casinum. I don't know where that is. What? Okay, so. Development is at least 12. What the development current here is? Nine. That could be Conqueror Nequim. Nequin. That might be a nice target to start with. Yeah, we'll go with that one. This is a war goal. National decision. Start food imports. 
Oh god, there is a system here that I don't know anything about. Show the amount of food supplies and slaves, and then we can decide if we want to import or export food, I guess. I'm learning this as we go, by the way. So... A citizen army will be removed from Rome. Rome gets army equipment given by state until 2 January 2000. This is more manpower, but requires us to do what? Uh, at least military power. Morale of armies. No, this is because a militia army. We want a professional army. So that's never going to be an option. Oligarchic monarchy. What if I don't Democrats versus. Uh, okay. I need to figure out, you know, where that comes from. This is merely the Senate. All right, some interesting mechanics going on. So let's take a look at information about Rome happens. Amount of food is 250. The amount of food stored in Rome should never be at zero. We will suffer from bad modifiers if our people and soldiers have no food. Food will be reduced every summer in provinces that have grain, fish, fruits, meat, honey, olives, wine, and spices. They appear green in a trade goods map. Base production and terrain will modify the amount of produced food. The amount of slaves. I don't have any slaves. So we can start... Okay, I want to see how much we get during a singular summer before we start exporting. So, okay, let's just start a little bit of export. And we'll keep an eye on everything. So this is all like... Uh, don't remind me of that. Abolish slavery. Nope. Ah, corruption. That which killed the Roman Empire. Alright, so food information, food consumption. Food will be consumed every three months. Both of your state provinces and land armies. Every three months, your army will consume 0.1 food supply for each regiment, and every state will province will consume 0.2 food supply for each development. So we could calculate that, but I'm not going to. So after three months, we'll just check the. So in June, July, after at the end of August or so September, we'll check this. Corruption. Why do we gain corruption? Due to lack of republican tradition. Get that. No food supplies. Really. And lack of religious unity. Well, we are making a little bit of money, so why don't we look at advisors? Tax and construction. We'll go for taxes. It's weird to get an advisor for taxes, because you probably pay more for him than, you know... Hmm. Um, they're fairly cheap, so... That's land attrition, that sounds like a good thing. Alright, so we have a little bit of unrest in... Okay, so we got some of that. We have some of that lands, I guess. Yeah, we do. Republican tradition is also not really helping with this, so... We could convert, but that kind of takes just like, you know, this amount of time. Um, so, religious authority would be a good thing. I'm going to convert to another religion. Okay, we got money. Okay, this looks like a bit of a faster clock. Um, gravel roads, land movement speed, supply limit modifier, institution spread, and faults. And as well as quarries, mines, and mining networks replaces mines. Alright, this just probably has to do with expenses. Is what is this? Building a pot built in all possible provinces. Is that true? Ah, probably has a requirement to be built. Which is not being taught to us. So, roads kind of do this. Forts kind of do that. Okay, so... Forts do the fort thing, but they apparently also increase what? So they don't increase the base manpower. Interesting, but they're expensive as hell. This would block off, however, a large portion of territory here. So here a fort and here a fort would... Yeah, that would protect us fully. Um, I want one up here. No, actually. That depends. Alright, so, first things first. Is this part of Carpathia? Yes. Of oh, Carthage, sorry. Um, well, first, probably gonna take the boot. 
Take this bit here. And then we'll take the boots. So placing a fort here will not benefit us because... I'm just gonna kind of build a fort. Let's keep it at that. Um, this gives us a quick access, but... Uh, why don't we just not build anything for now? All right. Um, few great powers. Well, we're not one. We got Queen Caliga, Macedonia, Carthage, Thracia, Egypt, the Slicit Empire, and Mag Magadga. What is this? What's about as the world as we know? So here we got a Slicit Empire, Egypt. Was Car Car Carthage? Was one? Yes, they are. And by a lot. So Quinn is the next target on our list to, you know, surpass. Thing is, though, these guys are allied with Piscini, which is did. Okay, so we got these two guys. Have I got an ally? No. It's because, oh, wait, I do. Friendly. Once your provinces, diplomacy, alliance actions, offer an alliance. Yes. At least get some of that out of the way. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, 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 okay. We're not that hostile with Carthage yet. So we could say, like, I don't know. There we go. Offer an alliance. If we could get us at least a good defensive position uh, as with our allies, I doubt Egypt is that friendly towards us, no. And they're a kingdom rank. That kind of just secures our south side, so we can just kind of do slow conquest to the south. Go over the north, just not bother with pissing off Carthage, which seems like a bad idea to begin with. Alright, next up is army. Um, we're not even in our... Oh, I like this... Ooh, they made models. They made models. I like it. That's, you know, really awesome. So, slingers. Huh. What we got here? Are they, like, are they still as that expensive? Mm, no, they actually aren't. Let's get this up to... Let's start with 10. 12. Uh, let's get this up to 18. That's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4. I have the feeling they did remade a lot of this game. I like that. Perfect. This is the Legio... Oh no, not food supplies. Wait, what? Well, how do I have no food? Show the amount of food supplies. Yeah, 232. Two. Or did it remove the modifier? It removed the modifier. Alright, right, 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 right. Of course, it's been raided. How does that work? I've got my navy. Shit. Uh, these are my merchantmen. They will protect the trade. From Rome. And these guys, um, at least let's get the heavy ships. You'll hunt pirates around Rome. And these are mainly trade vessels. I mean, transport vessels. Okay. I'm impressed. This looks really good. Okay, so they use the same model for everything. You know, that it's it, that's, it, you know, makes sense. Roman citizens often sell themselves into slavery to pay their debts. So-called debt slavery or debt bondage frequently gives the slaves. Change the slaves with 500. What do slaves do? Apparently armies are also really cheap. And then I think legios of 20 is send out our army uh, let's give them a leader Legius Postumus Megalius a brilliant strategist completely made sure work of him alright so you're allied with Onipassini well I have a war for you 
they would call in nobody else, right? So you are allied with Sabini. So we're calling you in fully. Did I just fuck up? What earth? I have a claim on Neguim. How did I let Leclerc warn you? Did I just did do something very stupid? Not considered. I see no problems anywhere. Okay, wiped out that army. You're not gonna take over Rome, you smarty pants. And destroy that army. Alright, so Roman armies, either that or our generals, are really powerful. Alright, there's some ducats. Economic stagnation. Now people become lazy. The merchants are greedy and the governor's corrupt. This leads to economic stagnation. Many artists of the merchants in Rome already moved away to battle like elsewhere. If we don't do anything, our economy will collapse. This would lead to the end of Rome. There's nothing we can do about it. Won that fight. I uh, don't want to search for provinces. This is an amazing mod. Uh, can I just detach? There we go. Bit weird. I don't know where that army came from, but they're not going to break through the walls of Rome before I can, you know, gather up the rest of mine. Fourteen thousand men. Ready to defend Rome. So, I am at war with you? No, then why... Oh, you sold your forces, you bloody bastard. You bloody basket. Is that what you did? Yes, it is what you did. Well, I think you just wiped out your own army with that little plan of yours. To stop Rome from taking all that we want, basically. How much aggressive expansion would it give us? Too much. Far too much. Well, this is mostly with our allies, but they would get into a coalition with each other, and... Um... So it's just... Brutti. Yes, I might want to calm down a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. So let's take that which we can without that it, you know, pisses off too many people. Oh, so regardless, it's gonna piss off. So this might call Pacini in. This will call more. Well, just Pacini, but Pacini is gone. So, all right. So Sabini, hello, hi. Uh, what am I going to do with you? No, we're not going to end your rivalries because I don't really give a shit about that. If I make you a Roman vassal, it gives me six aggressive expansion. That's it. I guess that's the easy way to get you into this. Get your money. But you won't accept just yet. Alright, but at least it gives us a way to do this. Um, this is 20 trade ships, that's fine. I kind of want to improve on something else here, like you. You've got a weird number. Jaw. I'm, I'm unable to build you. Hmm. Right, some claims popping up. Apparently, the sieging of cities is. takes forever.
That's actually not that weird. Also looting. Let's just split off one guy. Go around the provinces and loot them. Oh, the armies will not loot that much anyway. Okay. Um, I've not really been into loot that much. All right, let's start looting. So, either we want to keep Marcus Valerius Corvius, which loses a lot of Republican tradition, which is not a good idea. Um, so, we've got a 4 to 4 or a 4 to 4. Well, I've got to need admin points, so we'll go to this guy. Not really a diplomat. That will lead to some more successes. How much will we loot now each month? It's like 1.3 ducats, that's nice. This gives us the ducats required to. Uh, Get this over with. Good wine, Yeni Prestige. Nice. It appears that. Now, cool. Consul Sextus. Is that our leader? Ah, great. A nice, cruel ass hat. Well, he's gotta get replaced. It seems like a consul has been arbitra become arbitrarily. His castle is afforded him even new common people call him Sexus Gladius Crassus the Mad. And that won't end it bad for Rome. Yes, but well, stability is bad. And really expensive, apparently. Just need this to go. Okay, for finally getting through with this. Oh. Great earthquake in. Where is that? Anni... Antioxia. There we go. What is right over there? If you look at the development map mode. Uh, which we cannot see. Hmm. For Rome considerations, this is fairly well. Okay, that was funny. I didn't know they changed that. All right. Um, hmm. Citizen army. Oh, so go to militia, to militia army is not a bad idea because we have a citizen army now. I want a professional army. Kingdom. I need a lot of military power. Okay. Siege of Riyadh is over. Good. That changes things. You would become a vassal. Thank you very much for joining us. Now I probably should just kind of improve relations with you. Pekingia's arrival, the senior's the arrival. Measure the third, leader trait, goal oriented, movement speed, and as a general. Alright, so by taking this, what do we lose? Pacini and Samami might join, but Samami and Pacini will be gone. So that is not that much of a problem. Officer to rent, can you? No. Yes, high liberty desire, I get that. That's not that weird. Well, there you go. No more. No changes there. Hold a parade and we'd better be humble. You know what? Hold that damn parade. So military tradition is good for the people. Coring is cheap. That's also that's a good thing for me. I need another rival. So Sabini is no longer up for it. We have no possible rivals there. Um, yeah, well. These guys are called Pudrici. Well, they're not valid, apparently. Athens could be. What are you, Buxton? No. Caria? No. Is there anything here? Brutii? Trussia? I don't know what half of these are. 
Let's see. Thrace. I think that's a lot of this is in Greece, isn't it? Yeah. Sparta, Epirus is I think that is right here. That might be a, Ah, we've got some naval issues probably. Well, you're not Epirus, go. There we go. Do we have a colorable modifier that allows us to get a lot of nope? Because we have a large, uh much larger um than I'm expecting. I need to kind of split my armies in, I think, in two. That's the world's not tremble the side of our might. For the glory of Rome, we've become a great power. Impressive. Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got... An, what's our army limit at? 28. So we can have two armies of 14 in size. Well, that doesn't make sense. So... Let's have you... So, at least start with not enough manpower, right, well, let's start with that. Culture in Merium, Merium, Merinim, became Latin. Good. I like it. Oh, right, that's already too much. So, one more horse, I guess, there, and a couple more infantrymen there. That's an amazingly detailed mod. This is like a minor, like a, a minor conversion. This is clearly a total conversion. It has taken a lot of time. And this is still in beta. This is not even full release yet. So I hate my guy currently. 534. Yeah, that will work. All right, we're losing a little bit of money. Let's start to figure out where that money is going. Right, fort maintenance. Okay, we can lessen that a little bit. Army maintenance is a little bit on the high side. Where did that corruption, apparently? Okay, so that should stick that way. That's annoying. Um, can lower the army maintenance a bit, a bit. Hmm, Fort Maintenance Advisors. Right, I run a couple of advisors. Uh, why don't we do that? Alright. Personality should pop in for him. Our advisors are apparently so cheap that that doesn't even really make it makes a dent. Point twenty. It appears that when ruling Rome, we'll have minus one diplomatic reputation. It seems as all our advice is a kind of crap. Provincial unrest. That's not the way that, that exists. So this guy is rebuilding his army. So how would I get religious authority? Well, at least what is an easy way to get religious authority? Show the amount of food that we have. Okay, we're still positive. Amount of slaves, nice amount. Slaves are needed to trigger special defense to give you money, province development, or other bonuses. So basically, classical antiquity spreading into technological development. I'm giving it the following. Okay. Oh, is that our. Uh, where did I put that under? Wait, these guys have something I don't have. Classical antiquity is present. It's present, but what's the difference? Why is it green? Embrace and they're working on Hellenization. Ah, we haven't embraced that yet. So can we, can I, because so this is a fairly new mechanic for me. So can I kind of say like, I want to, attribute is not discovered yet. It's not big enough to hold in a country that fully embraced. It needs to be embraced at least 10% of its autonomy. Okay, but how do I start embracing it? So this all comes from Athens, so by getting closer, I'm, it might start spreading here, so classical antiquity is still spreading here, but getting into, okay, so we want to get down here. So that was already the plan, that saves me a lot of time. 
Got a couple of vassals along the way. Like these guys, they will be vassalized as well. I think making vassals for now is going to be the easier way to get a lot of territory in. Uh, improve relations, there we go. Kind of want to make them a marsh, in all honesty. Because um, the province is looted. Okay, so we'll gravel roads. Well, for now, I don't really give much of a hoot for loot. I wish there was a way for me to make more money easily. How much does my fleet cost me right now? Not much. I'm just not making any money. That bothers me. But I think that's enough for our first episode. So yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, some sub thumbs down, that kind of shit, this thumb down. Let me know why I might be able to change it. Um, yeah, um, as this is the first of a new series, if you want to see more of it, uh, check out the channel for more content like this. Um, and if you want to keep updated when new videos are uploaded, there's the big subscribe button. So I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.